The world is full of different many types of animals. Some swim, some fly, some make air, and some breathe underwater. Some have skeletons and others don't. To help us understand the differences of animals in our world, scientists classify or sort animals into different groups that share important characteristics. Hello, I am Maxine Castellan and I, I am a grade 6 student and I am here to discuss the two largest groups of animals which are the vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have spines or backbones. There are almost 62,000 species of this group. Some of the characteristics of vertebrates include they have muscles and skeletons. They also have endoskeleton. All vertebrates have this system. Skeletal system, muscular system, excretory system, nervous system, and immune system. While invertebrates are animals that do not have backbones, they have four common characteristics. They do not have backbones. They reproduce by two reproductive cells. They have multiple multicellular and they have no cell walls. Vertebrates make up less than 5% of all species in the world. But if I ask you to think of an animal, you will probably choose a vertebrate. Vertebrates are divided into different classes or groups. These are the fishes, the reptiles, the amphibians, birds, and mammals. To better understand vertebrates, scientists then Scientists group them into eight major categories. Here are the categories and a fact or two about each category. Arthropods are invertebrates with hard outer shells, with jointed legs, and with se segmented bodies. Since about 75% of all animal species are arthropods, they represent the largest invertebrate group. Sponges are the simplest of all animals inhabiting most oceans but occasionally fresh water. They are headless and nerveless. Cnidarians are also simple aquatic animals like sponges, but their possession of a nerve system makes them more complex than sponges. Jellyfish, hydras, sea anemones, and coral snakes, the four classes of cnidarians. Segmented worms are also known as analyzed worms. They can be divided into three classes. Bristle worms, earthworms, and niches. Flatworms are the simplest of all worms. Tapeworms are perhaps the most well-known flatworms. Roundworms are nematodes, are usually so tiny that you cannot see them with your bare eyes. Like flatworms, many roundworms are parasites. Mollusks include animals such as snails, slugs, clams, octopuses, squids, cut and cuttlefish. Some mollusks have shells to protect their bodies, but others do not. Echinoderms can only be found in oceans, starfish, sea urchins, bristol, stars, sea cucumbers are common examples of echinoderms. Let us see some of the vertebrate animals. Reptiles, there are cold-blooded animals, meaning their body temperature changes along with external temperature. Wow! Reptiles lay eggs and their skin is covered with dry and hard scales. These species include alligators, turtles, crocodiles, snakes, and lizards. Fish, they have gills that allow them to be underwater. Some examples are white shark, swordfish, and lionfish. Birds, they have wings and lay, they lay the eggs. Most of the birds can fly and some examples of the bird species are the eagles, flamingos with gender legs, hawks, and ostriches. Mammals, they are warm-blooded animals meaning they maintain a constant body temperature. They nurse with their child with milk and have fur or hair. Some examples of mammals are humans, dolphins, giraffes, and lovely horses. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals, and some examples are frogs, tiny toads, and you. Now let's learn about the invertebrate animals. Most of the animals in the world are invertebrates. Some examples of invertebrates are octopus, squid, insects, 
starfish and sea urchins, crabs, lobsters, clams, and many more creatures. On land, most invertebrates are fairly small, but in water, they may grow to much larger sizes as the water will support them even without the skeleton. Insects such as butterflies, fleas, beetles, myriapods such as centipedes and millipedes, crustaceans such as crabs, pillwood lice, and lobsters, arachnids such as spiders, scorpions, and ticks, and horseshoe crab are all examples of arthropods. Now you have learned a lot of about vertebrates. Thank you.